Hello again, and welcome to another exciting episode of Troglodytes Pet Hunters. In this episode, we're doing basically the same thing we did in the last episode. I created a new world, we're going to be searching for some pets. The difference being, I did lots of scouting. And uh, by scouting, I mean I cleared a lot of uh, map so that I could actually see chests in these different biomes. Like I did all this for the ice, and if we go all the way over here, I did the same thing for the jungle. Now, I did not look in the chests. I did get a couple of chests, obviously, because uh, I got these guys. But that's for all the things that I collected on my way to uh, clearing those areas. And, of course, I beat the Wall of Flesh. Uh, I did that so that we could get some ice mimics, because I can get a pet from an ice chest. I can get a pet from an ice mimic. I can get a pet from a jungle shrine. And I can get a pet from possibly the bee, queen bee. I'm not sure if she actually has it. I don't know if it's really made it to this update. It says in the wiki it has, so I, I gotta have faith. Um, so, obviously I cleared a bunch of space. I made this little running bridge here so that we can try to get uh, ice mimics from there. Um, da -da -da -da. I didn't bring any uh, eliminations to summon the queen bee, but through my clearing it looks like we have at least five distinct beehives that we could go to and kill uh, queen bees in. So that gives us five chances to try to get that one pet. So, since we're in the ice, I figure we'll start here and go right down here. I tried to mark the chests that I found along the way with, uh, with torches, like a, a set of four. But I started with, like, just grouping them around <laughs> the chest. And I didn't even see that one before. I missed that one because I didn't put any things around it. Got to check that one first. Um, but there be, might be a couple that we don't see right away because I put torches around it instead of... Um, a raid over it like I did over there so let's just go down here first and oh boy doesn't this make it easier and I got my um oop there's one haha <laughs> I got my whatchamacallit potion my spelunker potion so that I can try to spot chests a little bit easier too and I got a couple extra in case we start to run low it won't be necessary when in the jungle because the shrines usually have like a little candle above them I still mark the ones I found but still it's, it's not as necessary so here we go. First one. Here we go. No. <laughs> uh, take the suspicious looking eye. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna throw away um, free summoning items. Um, I don't need the snowball cannon, so that's that's a no go. That's a no winner there. And where was the one that I missed before? It's that right there. It's right across from me. Okay, so I'll take the bridge. Let's see, and let's hope we spot a couple of ice mimics. I tried to make it a little larger than necessary just because I thought maybe they require more than a two or a three gap to uh, spawn. Okay, going up, going up. Oops. Okay. And pot statue, why not? Okay, and because all of the stat, all of the chests have these torches, I feel like just for symmetry stake. We're going to do that, and no. <laughs> okay, that's 0 for 2. Um, I don't need, uh, don't need any of that stuff. Okay, let's go back over and get ready to kill you guys. Because we're trying to get some mimics. Any more along the way here? don't see any that I marked. Okay, so let's just go back to the top and go to the next tunnel. And can I dump some stuff off? This is ridiculous. <laughs> so much. Okay, I can put that there. This might seem silly, but um, it's amazing how quickly this stuff pops in your inventory. Okay, second one. That's the first one, right? No, that's the second one. Okay, good. And keep your eyes peeled. Oop. Haha, -ha, I spotted it. Alright, let's see. Wait, no, wait. That's a different kind of chest. That's a... Yeah, you already opened this one. And... I don't know why I marked it. Angel statue. This is a water chest. This is a nice chest, I don't think. I don't know. I don't know. They're all the same. Oop, there's one. Okay. 
Hey, pal. How about uh, a pet? No, blizzard in a bottle. That's eh. I don't want it. I think I have one. I'll take another one. <laughs> Let me out. Let me out. Good. Okay. I haven't seen one ice mimic yet. I did kill the wall of flesh, so it's supposed to be around. And this looks like a no winner here. Oh, yep. Okay, here we go. Pass the first. Pass the second. And there's number three. There's one. Oh, wait, wait. Is that one? No, that's a pot. There's one tunnel that has like three ice chests all in a row. There's one. And that's going to be like my last hurrah because I don't think I had any ice chests after that. But hopefully we won't need it. Ah, <laughs> take the mining potion. Big fan. Um, I use mining potions throughout all of this excavating just because uh, it helped a little bit, and I'll take a little bit. Whoops, forgot about that. Anything below me? Mm, no. Okay. This is a little discouraging. It's a lot of work I did here. <laughs> How much would it suck if I don't find a pet? Oh my goody goody gumdrops. That would stink out loud. Okay, and uh, is this... I feel like I went down this one. Can't tell. One, two, three. This is number four. Did we go down number four? Find out. Finding out. So far, no chests. Yeah, I definitely didn't go down this one because I never hit water. I didn't see any chests. Okay. Going back up. Get to the tunnel. Do a little walk in here. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Go away. Ugh. Ice man Mick. Ice man Mick. And we'll also take a couple of laps after I go through all the chests just to see if I find another. Okay, yeah, this is number five. Okay, so. There we go. See where I'm talking about? That's where they're like all clumped together. So let me just zip up to that instead of going the whole way. A boat. Yeah, I call these boats. They look like boats. And no go. Uh-oh. <laughs> I thought I had more money than this. Maybe I lost it dying. I, I died quite a bit falling in lava and stuff. Um, anything else I want? No. Not especially. Okay. And then above me. Me through. Thank you. <laughs> Ugh, come on. This is getting discouraging here. Okay, here we go. Yes! Fish! <laughs> oh, yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Wait, 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 my fish! Let's go get my fish. Yes! And let me go get my gold. Yes! I mean, it's not my gold, it's the world's gold. Look how close I was to the end. <laughs> Just for giggles, let's see if it was uh, there was any more in the uh, other ones, the other chests. Nope. Okay. There's another one below me. Okay. Armored Viking. <sighs> another eye. And magic. No, that's teleportation. Who cares? And uh, there was one more, I think, really down below. Yep. Fall! <laughs> <laughs> Come on.
coming up on it. There it is. Okay. Last chance. I mean, last chance on this world. Okay. And no. Interesting. One fish between maybe eight chests. Found wizard. I should free you. Nope. Nope. Not my problem. Ugh. I, I don't believe in the Good Samaritan Law from that Seinfeld episode. That happened in Massachusetts in that episode, by the way. They go to Massachusetts and they see some guy getting mugged. And they laugh about it and they videotape it. Like, ah, look at this. Because they're New Yorkers and they're used to muggings, <laughs> I guess. Um, but uh, Massachusetts had the Good Samaritan Law where you get in trouble if you spot it. You spot a crime and don't do nothing to, to stop it. We're going to look for mice mimics. And I live in Massachusetts, but I, I don't know if that's a real law. Like here. I imagine it is. Maybe that's the whole reason they came up with the plot. Come on, Ice Mimics. Let's go for two for two here. We're only going to do one or two passes. I don't want to waste too much time on this nonsense. We already got a pet. I feel like we already succeeded. And I'm skipping the hearts, because I spent a lot of time on hearts. I got about 21, 22 hearts last time. And, uh... I feel like that's enough. Jeez. Hey, Mimics, what's the Mohaska? Did I open this one? Oh, yeah, that was the first one. Okay. Which means I'm at the end of the ice, yeah. Okay. Going back. Tortoise! You're killing my spawns. Go! We're looking for a chest. It doesn't necessarily have to be on this like little path, um, but it should be near. Within. Oh, there's the bound wizard again. Is that another bound wizard or the same bound wizard? Oh man, that's a shame. Okay, and I think that was a different one. Wait, I think I just activated my baby penguin. I didn't mean to do it just yet, but oh man, is that cool? <laughs> My baby penguin. I wonder if he walks like that when he isn't on ice. Or if that's just how he walks because they expect uh, him to be a nice walking kind of guy. Uh, no, wait, I got a weapon. <laughs> I zoomed it a little too far. There he is again! This bound wizard cannot be stopped! He's teleporting like crazy. I might come back to this world and make this path bigger uh, to give myself a better chance. I don't know if there's actually like mimic spawning areas, like how you would set that up. And no, that's that's a big 10-4 negative. Okay, well, got the fish so far. I'm going to check out the ivy chests and the abominations, or the queen bees rather. Oh, wait, I wanted to see how he walked on, on regular dirt. Yeah, he still kind of slides. Does he fly? Is he flying? Oh yeah, he's flying. <laughs> yeah. I found like three islands in this world just by like flying up because they're really low. My world, they're all high. See? Either they're really low or the ground is high. I think I used one of those chests for uh, storing all the stuff I found in this world. <sighs> oh, the famous penguin just fell. Oh, and returned. Isn't that nice? And the jungle's over here, so I'm not going to probably want to do much uh, teleporting, because uh, this is kind of like a, a long walk here. Okay, and I took the potion, and again, I'm going to zoom this out. I'm looking for shrines. They should be readily available or readily obvious because of the torch above them. And I found a few. I just don't remember where they all were exactly. Oh, and was one by one. Oh! No. Okay, that's okay. We're looking for the seaweed. The seaweed is summons a turtle. And, uh, nope. Clip saved! 
Okay, we're actually doing pretty good. Don't worry about that. We're making good time. Because I spent two and a half hours digging this place. Oh. <laughs> That's why we're making good time. Oh, I have to go all the way to the top. This way. I think this is faster than if I teleported back to the home base and uh, walked over. I found this out when I was digging these things. Plus, I guess it'll give me a second chance to spot a shrine that I might have missed. Almost at the top. Almost. Oh, come on. Don't miss. Missing is the worst. And another chest, but that isn't an ivy chest. That's just a regular, ordinary chest that doesn't concern us. Take two. Oop, I took a mining potion. That's okay. I like the mine. And during my digging, I actually broke one um, demon altar. And got me called cobalt. It was just happened to be in my path as I was digging down. So if you see some cobalt, that's why. Oh! Oh! Here we go. Here we go. This will be the one. This will be the one. No. I'll take the gold. Okay. Don't be discouraged. Oh. My broken headphones are hurting my head. Did I just see one when I passed by it? No, that was a heart. It's like instinct at this point. I see a heart, I want to stop. And that's just a regular chest, or that's a mimic. Not good enough for our needs. And ooh. <clears throat> It's interesting to note, a couple of these shrines got destroyed by lava. I think the shrine is built first, like they, they build a jungle first. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, then the lava is uh, thrown into the world, and the lava overrode, or overwrote, the, uh, the shrine. Which is, which is sad in my case, because if I'm trying to get a pet, I don't want any of the shrines to get destroyed when the pet in a shrine seems to be such a low percentage thing. You know what I'm saying? What if the one they overrode is the one that had the pet in it? That's that's the concern I have. And it, it makes you worry that uh, all your work was for nothing. Oh, oh, that's a demon altar. And a chest, but not a good one. And did my... Am I out of Spelunkers? I am. No matter. I should see my torches. There they are. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. And no. Take the money. I had like 20 gold before I started dying regularly. What's this? Another gold? Ugh. That is not what I'm talking about. I see a little light on the left there. What is it from? A stupid spore. I don't need spores in my life. I need those. Those are what I need. Oh, I saw this. Pet werewolf. No, that's, no, that's not what I want. <sighs> okay, fine. And a gold one. That had more gold. Making money like crazy. And this is not good. I got one pet, so I shouldn't be complaining, but I'm totally complaining. And I'm at the bottom. Yes, I'm at the very body bottom. Body bottom? Ah, <laughs> uh, That reminds me. Um, bottom or body bottom reminded me of bot, which reminded me of aim bot, which reminded me of the time that I got accused of using a bot because I was playing Battlefield 3 and I would use the uh, helicopter thing, I forget what it was called, the drone, to kill <laughs> the opponents on the other team. And I got so good at it that I would rank up, I would. I would finish the match at like 30 kills 
in one depth just because I got bored. <laughs> and I got so much anger directed at me. And it, it was it was very mean. And it was, it was very naughty messages sent to me in chat about how I was no talented and such. But I enjoyed it. It was funny. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. And then later, they changed the coding so that uh, if you kill somebody with uh, your drone, that it destroys your drone. Whereas before, they were pretty much invincible. They couldn't be destroyed unless they were shot down. And uh, I felt like they did that just because of me. <laughs> I feel like they changed that just because I was abusing the system. Although, I mean, I don't know how it's abusing the system when they actually have a trophy in-game for drone kills. You know? I'm at the bottom. This is not good. Maybe I'll walk over to the other side and fly up. Just to change things up here. Alright. And then when they did that, yeah, I, I went back to, you know, the rifle. And I still did pretty well. I would finish matches at like, I don't know, 37 kills and like 15 deaths. If I was having a really good match. If it was a bad match, I'd be like 37 and 27. Where I was just trying to go to the other side and create mayhem. Oh, where are the chests? Okay, gold, take my gold. Okay, oh, I forgot. I kind of, for one of these, I got lava, so I had to dig under. Oops, there we go. So the path didn't go all the way down. Whoa. What is this? Is this a pot? Okay. Uh, it's just a stupid chest that don't matter. Oh, here we go. Here we go. And the bound wizard strikes again. What is this? Fiberglass fishing pole. I thought for a second it was seaweed, because it kind of looks greenish. I don't think I have that yet, so that's. I guess that's cool. It's not what I'm looking for. Oh, game, come on, don't do this to me. I spent two and a half hours digging this pit. <laughs> don't be so mean. So much effort. And there's actually a little bit that I didn't dig at the very end, because I thought if I get to here, I'm going to be pretty sad after traveling through all the ice area, then I come back here. If I have to get all the way to that end, I'm, I might be very, very upset. And I still have a couple of ways to go here. A couple more tunnels. <sighs> no. Here we go. Here we go. No. Mm -hmm. Nope. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're just having an adventure. It's not if you win or lose, it's it's how you play the game. Uh, when it comes to Battlefield 3, obviously, I, I wasn't playing it the right way. <laughs> but it's all good. Oh, there's one of the beehives we'll be visiting. That's our gold chest. And we are at the bottom. Okay, sneak over. Sneaking over again, and again. Where's the tunnel? I must be close. Oh, I did the same thing. I didn't go all the way through. Whatever. Okay. Just kind of keep an eye. Keep an eye out. Okay. Oh. Nope. Gold chest. Gold chest. Not a gold chest! They're all gold! What is this? <laughs> okay. Do I have to go up again? There I am. Don't move until you see it. Don't move until you see it. Don't move until you see it. I'm sorry, Dad! You get that reference? You get that reference? Oh, it's Joss Waitskin! In searching for Bobby Fisher, it's at the end of the match. 
and uh, he was flashing back to his instructor telling him to not move his chess piece until he sees like the whole board and all the moves he has to make successively. Oh yes, good. Oh good, there's two in this area. See, it was so long ago since I dug this and I forgot. Oh, <laughs> come on. Ugh. gotta be getting me what is this water that's falling how long has that been falling did I dig it oh I dug into the ocean didn't I oh yes I did I did do that okay let's go back oh, I didn't care this world this isn't our world I don't care if I ruin the ocean oh good 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 oh it's getting painful now so painful. Going up. Anyway, Joss weight skin. Getting back to him. So his instructor says, don't move until you see it. And then he stares at the board. And he's like, let me help you. And he removes all the pieces from the board. Because he's, he's going to do this all in his head because he's a genius. And uh, so the kid's flashing back to it. And uh, he hears this instructor just repeating over and over again, Don't move until you see it. Don't move until you see it. And he can't see it. And he says to himself, Sorry, Dad! <laughs> I don't know why, but it always cracked me up. This is all like his dad really cared. That, I mean, he was happy that he was winning, but he was like, I love you regardless. That kid was messed up. He's a real person, you know. Joss Waitskin. You can look him up. Go on Wiki, Wikipedia. He's there. He was a real chess master. He won a bunch of chess and he kind of got uh, chess matches and he kind of got burned out. If you're looking for the, the story a after the story, where am I? There I am. Did I already check that one? I'm not 100% sure, so we're gonna double check. Okay, here we go. Yes, I did. All right. All right. Yeah, this is the ocean one. Nope, it's the one next to the ocean one. Must be leaking over. I opened that one because it was gold. But here's a twist. Now, you're not going to see this coming. Josh did see it. Don't move until you see it. Ooh. Ooh. Star statue. Nice. Oh, that's something. And I noticed over here I can show my point from earlier. See the lava? It destroyed the shrine. Maybe this was the shrine that had the uh, the gold in it. Or the, the, the pet. Drain this sucker a little bit. Just to prove. Come on. Fine. Make me go through the whole process. Oh my god. It wasn't worth it. You guys believed me? You didn't need proof? Don't move until you see it. Yeah, you didn't see it by now, too, because... Yeah, see, the chest is gone. It's all gone. And so, I mean, I'm going back and forth here about Josh Waitzkin. But yes, he was a real person. Yes, he got burnt out on chess. Yes, in the movie, he did finally see the move. I don't know if that happened in real life exactly like that. But it was interesting. It was, a, it was a very good movie as a kid. I used to watch it all the time. As well as The Peanut Butter Solution. If you have a chance to watch a movie in your life, you got to watch Peanut Butter Solution. It's fantastic. Um, it'll probably give you nightmares. I want to throw that out there. <laughs> that was a kid's movie. And... It was the most disturbing kids movie I've ever seen in my life. Like, you, you seriously had nightmares. And, and, and the kid in that movie, like, all the people at school, like, make fun of him. And, like, really traumatize the kid. <laughs> so that he's pretty messed up. And he's like your hero. I don't know why that's funny. I think it's funny because it's just so disturbing. Uh, okay, well... This is the last one, this this one right here. 
But there's still a little bit of jungle I didn't explore over here, so let's do that really quickly. I'm not too hopeful right now, but... Uh, I needed these. Okay. Let's go through. Okay, coming up a little bit. These jungles, these biomes are always a little slanted, so if you go up and down, you're still gonna miss the trail edges if you don't if you don't cut a good swath down. I had the same thing happen with the ice biome. But like over here, I thought if I have to go to that very little corner and try to search for an ice chest because I can't find it in the other ones, I'm gonna probably be in a very bad mood. <laughs> And I'm not really in a bad mood doing this because I already got at least one pet, so I feel like I was I succeeded. Okay. Alright. Oh, and there's another. There's another one up here. So that makes six tries. Okay. That's pretty cool. Oh. Cool, cool, cool. And that is community. I think that's pretty much the biome there. Let me look really quickly to save us some time if we can and see if I see any torches marking a shrine. Because I think we hit them all. We just didn't go down this last ocean one. It's all full now. Although the water would kill torches, wouldn't it? But it wouldn't kill the chest. The chest would still glow yellow, I think. I'm not seeing anything. No, I think we're I think we're done, son. All's left is to try to get the uh, B trophy, and then come back another time for the uh, for the um, ice chest or not the ice chest, the uh, mimic one. Come on, Queen Bee. Actually, let me get rid of some stuff in my inventory. You're gonna drop some stuff. Okay. Whoops, sorry. I know I wasn't paying attention to you. I apologize. Oh, it didn't matter. Honeycomb. We got that before. Wait, wait. Nectar! Ha! <laughs> we got it! We got two! First try! First try! <laughs> Sweet! Oh, man! That is the episode! We did it! We did it! Save! <laughs> We're gonna go back to our world. Uh, in the forest. Save and exit. Just so we can uh, plant our two pets here. Oh man, that was awesome. So there were four possible pets. We got two of them. We got two! Totally worth it. Okay. A little money. Zoom in quite a bit because we're going to want to see these pets in succession here. Here we go. Where? where? There you are. Okay. And there is the penguin. And now let's do the baby bee. It looks a little bit like the Tiffia, which is the uh, one that will attack, but it's bigger. I guess that's what makes it a pet. Okay. Okay. Put this... Running out of room here. Oh, no. I'm going to have to throw away some of these bee waxes. Summon the Tiffia. And then the fish. Oh, snap! Oh, snap! I'm hitting buttons because I'm happy. Two for four. We'll take it. All right. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Have a good day. Take it easy. Goodbye.